lot of different fertilizers out there. And this video is going to be a basic video where I'm going to explain what the numbers on the fertilizer mean, which fertilizer to use when you're growing vegetatively versus flowering, and I'll talk a little bit about liquid fertilizers versus powder or dry fertilizers. If you've been growing for a while, please look for my more advanced videos on specific nutrients like nitrogen or phosphorus or beneficial soil organisms. But let's talk about basic fertilizer. Every fertilizer has, at has three numbers on it. The first number is always the amount of nitrogen, the second number is the amount of phosphorus, and the third number is the amount or percentage of potassium. Every plant on earth needs a large amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That's why three numbers on every fertilizer always stand for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Now I said I was going to make this video for beginners or people who didn't know what fertilizer to use or start with. And so if you're not sure, you can always use a general all-purpose fertilizer. What that means is all three numbers are going to be the same. That'll work great for every stage of plant growth. Now if you want to really maximize your growth or improve the way you're growing now, then keep watching and I'll talk about the benefits of having more nitrogen versus a fertilizer with more phosphorus. As I said, every fertilizer has three numbers, and the first number is the amount or percentage of nitrogen. It's not so much the numbers that are important, but it's the ratio. So for example, if the first number is bigger, like in this fertilizer here, and sometimes it's rather small, but again, every fertilizer will have three numbers on it, and this one is six, one, two. When the first number is higher, that is gonna promote vegetative or leafy growth. So if you're growing plants like herbs or spinach or lettuce, you should always use a fertilizer that has the first number that is the highest because nitrogen will promote leafy growth. Now, phosphorus is always the second number. And when the highest number is phosphorus, that's gonna do two things. That's going to encourage root growth and it's gonna encourage flowering and fruit production. So what I would recommend is the very first time you water your plants, when they're very small, give them a fertilizer that is a higher middle number. That's going to encourage root growth. Now when your plants are small, you want to give them maybe half or a third of what's recommended because smaller plants don't need as much nutrients. But the first time you fertilize your plants, give them a number of fertilizer that has a high middle number. That'll encourage root growth. And then when your plants begin to flower or fruit, you want to switch from a high nitrogen, which encourages the plants to get big and green and leafy, and switch to a high phosphorus. This will promote good flowering. So you want to start off with a high phosphorus fertilizer for one or two waterings, then switch to a high nitrogen fertilizer to get your plants growing green and leafy, and then when your plants flower or produce fruit, you want to switch back to a high first phosphorus fertilizer. Now, this third number here is the amount of potassium. Potassium doesn't have any special function in plants like making it green and leafy or promoting flowering. It is very important though for overall plant health. So every fertilizer you use should have a number here. Sometimes you'll see zeros for these. Don't use fertilizers that have a zero for potassium. It's very hard to overdo it with potassium. Again, don't overdo it. But all plants will need this in all phases of growing. So first number, nitrogen promotes green leafy growth. The second number, phosphorus, promotes root growth or fruiting and flowering. And the third one, potassium, is important for overall plant health. Let's talk about the difference between powder and liquid fertilizers. We've talked about what the different numbers mean and when to use them. Another question you might have is should I use a liquid fertilizer or should I use a powder fertilizer? And that is personal preference. Now the liquid fertilizers, you're going to add these to the water when you water your plants. So follow the directions, you'll have to get like a gallon jug and you'll add a specific amount of fertilizer to that jug. Some powder fertilizers also you can add them directly to the water. So you're going to again, again get a watering jug and add say a tablespoon or teaspoon of that fertilizer to that jug. Some fertilizers, like back guano for example, you can add that directly to the soil. So when you're mixing up the soil before you put your plant in, you're going to mix some back guano or bird guano in with that. So always follow the directions and it's really a personal preference whether you prefer liquid or powder. 
Try a couple different fertilizers, see which one works best for you in your growing environment. Just always read the directions and add the right amount of fertilizer to the water or add the right amount of fertilizer to the soil in your pot. And again, too much of anything is too much. Do not add more fertilizer thinking you're gonna make your plants grow better. Fertilizer, when you add too much, it becomes toxic and you will kill your plants or they will grow worse. Follow the directions and everything should work out fine. Feel free to send me an email at askthedoctor at htgsupply.com. Good growing.